Okay, the reflow process. Um, basically, we just need to get the temperature of the printed circuit board above the melting point of solder for a period of time so it melts. You know, I could take it down to some other people we have that have the proper surface mount rework, reflow ovens. Um, people can do it with hot plates and all that sort of stuff. I've got, you can pick these up for less than, for about 10 bucks, I think uh, SparkFun has them. Um, it's just hot air and it gets really hot. It's not regulated. Um, and I'm going to, to keep from blowing the parts off the board, I'm just going to come from the bottom side. And then we're just going to warm it up and uh, see how it goes. Now, I've rearranged the document camera so you can kind of see. It's really a kind of a funky angle because I don't really want to toast my document camera. So I'm going to come in from just a little bit of an angle here. And uh, let's just start warming this thing up and uh, we'll see how long it takes. It's kind of noisy. Sorry. And I just keep moving it around. I can see the solder melting on some of the pins. So the, the processor is, is actually melting down fine. I can see the crystal doing that. The caps C2 and C3 are melting down. Okay, the switch there, C3 is going. You can see D2, R8. The IRDA interface is, uh, is getting really close. There, it looks like it's soldered down. That accelerometer part is, is, is going to be a little bit of a trick, because I can't really see it. It's hard to tell if we're going to get lucky with that one or not. It looks like the memory chip's pretty well soldered down. And there goes the other side of the switch there. D1 looks soldered. Switch 2 is soldered. R11's made it. We've got C1 here and we've got the USB. I think that's about all that really is in question. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, and that's all I need the heat, hot air for. Um, I need to let the board cool down 
because I've, I've, I've got it pretty toasty. And then uh, I'll take a look at it underneath the microscope and then uh, to make sure that uh, everything is soldered. And uh, if it looks good, we will uh, we'll power it up and we'll see if it gets there. Um, interesting design. So a um, lot of unknowns yet. Um, as I said, um, I'll make one more video of uh, touch-ups if I need to do them. And, uh, um, you know, I, I need to pause it so I can get it to cool down before I take it under the microscope so I can take a look at it.